Hey, welcome back to the How to Podcast series. It's Dave here with you. Hope you're doing well. In April of 2024, Google Podcasts is going bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. They're going away. And uh, we have to now think about a few things. It's going to impact. It's going to impact your listeners who normally use Google Podcasts. It's also going to impact your website. If you have a Google Podcast link, it's going to go to nowhere in the future. So you're going to need to update that. And I have a website that's going to help you to find your favorite podcast. And if you like YouTube Music, the app, to listen to podcasts on, this website is going to be your best friend. So all that here on the How to Podcast series. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So Google Podcast is leaving us, and it's sad news for all of us, you know, because, hey, we love any kind of app that supports podcasts. But this is what happens. Things happen. Um, companies make changes. And now we, what's happened is it's, it's interesting because on an Android phone, we don't have a native podcast app that's like built into the phone. You have maps. You have texting. You have a calculator. All those things are built into the phone. Apple has their own their own app for podcasting were built right into their phone. It's one button, you're in. For Android phones, for the most part, Samsung is an exception. Samsung has their own app. And if you're not on the Samsung devices, you can submit your podcast to Samsung and have it on all their devices. So that's a good idea. Make sure you do that, by the way. If you need help, let me know. But for the most part, Android phones are so different. From company to company, company A does an Android phone, company B does an Android phone. Some companies do things differently. So to have one app that covers everybody, it's kind of hard. Hard to do at scale. Apple owns all of Apple. So they do whatever they want. They're kind of their own little walled garden. And they don't really care about anybody except Apple. To be quite honest, that's what they do. And they like to charge people a lot of money for average tech. That's my opinion. Thank you. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not an Apple user. I've never had an Apple phone. I've never had an Apple device. I've never listened to iTunes or Apple podcasts. I never will. It's because I'm not an Apple person. So if you're like me and you love Android, that's all I'm ever going to use. Uh, we need to make some changes to our website. We need to make some plans for April as Google Podcast leaves. So with that in mind, I want to give you some alternatives to Google Podcasting where you can send your listeners. And again, we're going to talk about your website. And then I have a website that I want you to check out. That's really cool. If you decide to use YouTube Music as your player of choice or recommended player for your audience. Good stuff. Here we go. So the one thing you're going to think about too, maybe make this change starting now is when you ask people to leave you a review. I hear people say, you know, leave me a review on Apple, and Spotify, and Google. Or you can find me wherever podcasts are, including Apple, Spotify, Google. So we're saying Google all the time still. And knowing that our podcasts are future-proof, we're going to have to think about the fact that we're going to say Google less in the next coming weeks and months as people are now leaving Google to go find a new home for podcasts to listen to shows. So a couple alternatives you can send people to on Android devices would be Pocket Casts, Antennapod, and po Podcast Addict. Those are three that are Android-friendly podcast apps. If you do drink the apple juice and you don't like the Apple experience for podcasts, you can send people to Overcast or Pocket Casts. Those are more Android or sorry, Apple-based versions. So those are some alternatives. I'll put information in the show notes, including links to these as well. Google Podcasts, like many of Google's ventures, has been a significant player in podcasting. Launched as Google's default podcasting listening app, it really did gain traction with Android users. I was using it. Uh, it was also one of the first places where new podcasters could submit to 
after starting their show. However, Google is trying to switch away it, its audio strategy from Google Play and Google Podcasts to YouTube Music. And the podcasting landscape is vast, with many players vying for the top spot. Despite its initial base, Google Podcasts basically had around 2% of the podcast listening market. And it was actually doing okay. It was growing a little bit. Also, we've seen that YouTube Music will change as they add new features for podcasters. YouTube Music will soon allow users to allow um, RSS feeds to be added as private feeds within YouTube Music. And I have a website for you that'll help you to do this. It's a really good website. So we're sending people away from Google to one of those alternatives we talked about for Android, Pocket, Pocket Cast, Antenna Pod, Podcast Addict, and then for Apple users, they have Apple Podcasts, which comes on the phone, but a lot of people don't like it. So there's Pocket Casts and Overcast as well. Those are pretty popular ones for iOS, Apple users. So the other part of all this is we have to then think about our website. Do you have links to Google Podcasts? on your website so people can click right through and go to Google Podcasts. We're going to need to update those. So I would suggest on your podcast website, you have at least two or three links. You have an Apple Android, Apple version of a podcast listening. Again, Apple Pocket Cast or Overcast as an option. So people can do a one click and go straight to the Apple version that they picked, they choose. And then you want an Android version on your website. Again, because like in India, where only 2% of people actually use Apple, you don't want to ignore a country that large and 98% of your audience only sees an Apple link on their on your website. That's not good. You're going to want to have a Android version as well. So again, Pocket Cast, Antenna Pod, Podcast Addict. You want a link there as well. The other thing is, on my site, I have a link to my YouTube Music app. Now, why do I have that? Because YouTube Music, as the app, even though it says music, it doesn't say podcast, but YouTube Music is actually a pretty enjoyable app for podcasting. I like it. I've been using it lately and kicking the tires on it. And it's not Google Podcasts by any means, but it's interesting. It's like a, another version of Spotify where music and podcasting is kind of mixed together. So I personally, the majority of my listening happens on Spotify. Now, why? Why, Dave, are you listening on Spotify? Because I'm a musician. And I've been a musician for twice as long as podcasts have existed in the world. Put it that way. So music for me is number one. So Spotify is probably the best music app for introducing me to new music, custom playlists, a DJ who knows calls me by name and picks songs for me based on what I've listened to and suggests new stuff that I've never heard of. I love it. So for me, I don't really need to switch out of Spotify and go to another app because, hey, it's got everything I need. So I like Spotify. So that's kind of where I'm going to be now that Google's going away. So I promote... I promote an Apple version for my podcast. I promote a, a Android version for my podcast. And even though my vi podcasts aren't video in format, then I also have a YouTube music link on my website. Go over there and check it out. How to podcast.ca and all those icons are clickable. So they take you right to each of those different apps. And that's what I would suggest for your, for your website. Is if you do have a Google link, you want to update that. If you have it in your show notes you're going to want to update that for future episodes because that won't be a viable link in the future. Keep it in mind. One last thing to think about specific to YouTube music. There's a uh, podcast called Pod News home, hosted by James Cridlin and Sam Sethi. Great podcast about podcasting, a lot of inside news, techie stuff from around the world, not just American-based news, which in Canada I appreciate. But Sam and James really, really share a lot of great stuff about podcasting. So if you want to go super nerdy, way beyond the How to Podcast series, check out Pod News. It's pretty interesting. Again, 
Link in the show notes. But James is a computer nerd extraordinaire, super smart guy, very talented. And he created something that I really like. And it's a way for you to take any podcast and add it to YouTube. So he built a website called RSS, which is that feed, right, that sends our podcast out into the world. RSS, the number two, RSS, the number two, YTM for YouTube music. RSS to YTM.net. Again, link in the show notes. What happens when you come to this website? It says, if you're using YouTube music app, you can listen to all of your favorite RSS podcasts, even if they're not added, even if they're not added by their host to YouTube. Listening in this way means your favorite podcasters get downloaded numbers via their podcast host and continue being able to earn revenue from their ads. Very important. And what happens on this page is you search for your favorite podcast. Could be yours, could be someone else's podcast that you listen to elsewhere, maybe on Google. You search it up. So right on the screen, it says This American Life, for example. You can type in the How to Podcast series. You can type in Dad Space. You can type in Living the Next Chapter. You can type in Living My Side Hustle. You can type in Podcast Editing and Support. All of Dave's shows, all of my podcasts, the Daily Santa podcast, you can search for anything. And when you do so, it gives you a, you look up podcast, it comes back with a list of podcast names. Mine's at the top for my How to Podcast series. The screen now says, add the How to Podcast series to YouTube Music. So you copy the RSS feed. This is your, this is your digital ID for your, for your podcast. You copy it, you open YouTube music, you look for the add to add a podcast button and click add RSS feed, paste the, the copied RSS feed shown on the screen. And there you go. You can add as many as you want. And these podcasts, even if the podcast host has not put their podcast on YouTube, you can add their podcast to your podcast app on YouTube Music and listen to their show on YouTube Music. This is awesome. Amazing. So, James, thank you for making this. What a great website, a great tool. Again, link in the show notes. And you can now pick any podcast you like. Again, it doesn't matter if the host has it on YouTube or not. You can add your favorite podcast, your own or someone else's, to your YouTube music app. This is super. And I really like this. So, recap. Some big things. Google Podcasts, Google Podcasts is going away in April of 2024. That means if you've been sending people there, you need to send them somewhere else. And I would start doing that now. Send them to one of the apps we talked about. You want to make sure that you have a link to an Android version of podcast apps. You want to make sure you have an Apple version for podcast app listeners. You want to make sure that you update your website. If you have any Google links, any icons that point people to Google Podcasts, you're going to want to update that to something new uh, as a replacement. And then take a look at YouTube Music. Try it out yourself. Take a look in, as a listener and see what you think of it. You might want to go all in on YouTube Music and add your favorite podcast. Again, whether or not the host has put their podcast on YouTube, you can by using James Cridlin's tool, rss2ytm.net. Again, in the show notes. You can add any podcast you want that has an RSS feed that's that digital ID for your, for your podcast. Anybody with that that submitted their podcast to have that feed, you can bring it into your YouTube music app. So kick the tires on it. See if you like it. And I'd love to hear what your app of choice is because we have listeners around the world 
listening on all different devices in many, many countries. I'd love to hear from you. How to podcast.ca. Let me know on my little speak pipe link. What is your app of choice? And if you, if this is all really confusing for you and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to do all this? If you need help, reach out to me. My calendar's right there on the website. We'll get together and I'll show you how to do this. Okay? I will help you. I promise. It's not that hard. I will show you what to do and be there with you every step of the way. Thanks for being here. Google Podcasts is going away. Make plans now so your audience isn't going, what the heck just happened? Where did my app go? You're doing something in advance because your audience matters and you're a prepared podcaster. Say that five times fast. Talk to you soon. Hey, thank you for sticking all the way through to the very end. It's bittersweet that the episode is over and that we're done for this episode, but you will come back and I will come back. And, you know, there's you and me and we're one big happy family here at the How to Podcast series, far beyond being just pod pals, which is fine, but I'd much rather do do life together as family here. And to that end, a reminder as we talked earlier in other episodes as well that we do have a meetup group and you are invited I would love to have you come it's free we do them scattered throughout our calendar different days different times because we have people listening around the world like Cuba and Warsaw Poland hi Cuba it's amazing how we can reach the world with a podcast so through our meetup group what we do is we get together it's free for you cost me money but that's okay I'm okay with that we get together, we meet other podcasters, we talk podcasting, and it's a way to get from behind the microphone, sitting by ourselves, recording on our own, and doing community. Podcasters need community. You need to meet other podcasters. And just in a low-key, fun environment, talk podcasting. So my challenge to you in 2024 and beyond is to get into a meetup group, find other podcasters, Introduce yourself and make new friends. It's just like school all over again. Grade nine. Let's meet each other and share the podcast journey. Go to howtopodcast.ca and click on all the information you'll find there around our meetups. And I'd love to have you there. Thanks for listening. Catch you on the next episode. Get out there and record your podcast. Take care.